Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Today's video is brought to us by Blackout Coffee. Check us out at blackoutcoffee.com slash G&G. We have the best coffees, teas, and hot chocolates around. Several great flavors. We have a subscription program. We have swag. We have ground, whole bean, K-cups. Check us out. Blackoutcoffee.com slash G&G. You can save 10% on every order with code GNG10. And for those who still might be confused, Blackout Coffee is not Black Rifle Coffee. Two total different companies. This one I am a part owner of. So I appreciate your support and uh, look forward to seeing how you like your Blackout Coffee. All right, guys and gals, there was a lot, a lot going on yesterday in numerous states related to lawsuits and potential stops, stoppages of laws that would infringe harder on us, Daddy. Uh, so I want to give you a quick update on two states, two key states, and we'll do the good and then the bad because there was a little, little setback yesterday. We'll start out in California. California, uh, my buddy Sam Paredes, who is the boss man over there, gun owners of California, he texted me very early this morning. He did not get home until 2.30 a.m. California time. He was texting me, so that that's, he shows you how dedicated this man is to the rights in California. Well, they had some laws that needed to be voted on yesterday, and GOC, Gun Owners of California, and the voters were able to stop two big infringement bills that Newsom and his crew were trying to pass through. And one of them was worse than, than uh, New York's Concealed Carry Improvement Act that we were talking about yesterday, too. So... California was able to stop, uh, I'm going to look to my notes here because I can't remember the bill numbers, um, Assembly Bill 1227, and that looked to add a 10% excise tax to handguns and an 11% excise tax to shotguns, rifles, anything they consider a long gun, uh, precursor parts, so like if you needed a trigger uh, or if you needed some springs, that would have an 11% excise tax on that, as well as ammunition. Uh, so they were able to stop that because that was going to be, uh, it's like taxing uh, another tax on a right to make it harder for people who have less money, especially now since everything is costing more money. Let's just tax them and, and it's backdoor gun control via tax. And the second one was Senate Bill 918 in California. And that one was even crazier in some aspects than New York's Concealed Carry Improvement Act, like I said, the open. Uh, this one was going to... Uh, expand gun-free zones, uh, require signage just like New York for places, for private businesses where you could carry a concealed gun, face-to-face, in-person interviews for your concealed carry permit, social media checks for that, psychological evaluations for that, increased training and costs, and expanding prohibited categories to try to make more prohibited people in the state of California. And thankfully, that was defeated yesterday. Uh, again, Sam, thank you for the heads up. I know you were exhausted that early in the morning, uh, but hell of a job, Gun Owners of California. I always say, guys and gals, support those who support you, Gun Owners of California. If you live in California, it's probably uh, a good idea that you at least check them out and uh, support them because they're out there working for you. Sam didn't get home until after 2.30 in the morning. Let's go back to the East Coast and let's talk about New York. I told you all in a video about New York Police Department yesterday that I was watching and waiting for a judge to, to come through with his ruling. And a lot of us were waiting and watching and waiting and watching. And I was on the phone and, and texting uh, everybody in GOA from, uh, from Eric Pratt uh, to their attorneys to, to guys and gals in key, key uh, offices there. And just before 7 o'clock p.m., the judge issued his order and what we would what GOA was trying to do was to to have an injunction at least a temporary restraining order but an injunction to stop New York's concealed carry improvement act from going into law which it was midnight uh, well the judge the judge sounded to me and this is just my personal opinion the judge was a coward he said that the the the, the plaintiffs GOA and their plaintiff didn't have standing and I don't know how you don't have standing when you are a resident of New York and you want to be able to carry your firearm everywhere to keep yourself safe, which would include all of these made-up uh, gun-free zones and uh, sensitive places that Kathy Hochul just created like that. 
But the judge also indicated, and I haven't finished reading the uh, decision. It's 78 pages. I kind of passed out last night uh, in reading it. Uh, but he did indicate that a lot of the the, uh, the law could be seen as unconstitutional. It is unconstitutional. So a step back on that one, not an L. Step back. The law did take place at midnight. So if you live in New York, know that uh, your, uh, your, your tyrants, your kings and queens have have that law operating for them now and, and be, just be careful because nypd and the state police have both said if you violate these you're going to get arrested because uh, they don't have the cojones to do what they're supposed to do and that's to stand up and defend our rights so i will keep you up to date on this this is going to be a fluid situation so you're going to want to stay in the know and uh, check back often subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already i will keep you in the know and keep you in the loop and uh, until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun, and keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Because you know what? My safety, my personal safety from myself, my wife, and my children, my neighbors, it means a hell of a lot more to me than um, the anti-gunners' needs or desires to disarm America so that they can have ultimate control. So with that, I hope you have a fantastic day. Check out Blackout Coffee, guys and gals. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.